Welcome survivors to Mikey's Gaming Oasis. Today we're going to go over the changes that Wildcard has made on the custom cosmetics menu as well as our general menu overall. So this is just going to be a quick, short, maybe about eight minute long video on that. If you enjoy this kind of content and you have not subscribed, please hit that like, subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell. So what we have here, if you look, if you remember your original look on your dashboard or your inventory was this. Now it's this, where it's custom cosmetics, your cosmetics tab and your crafting tab has flipped. So crafting tab works still the same as always, right? You have your folder view, your, you can create new folder, you have your toggle, all that's there. But if you notice, the eyeball icon is missing. No more eyeball icon. Huh? Well, how do we make our cosmetics then? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your cosmetics tab now. And as you see, this interface has changed greatly. What you see here is you have your cosmetics, and then you have down here, you have this little drop-down menu that you can go through, and you can change what you want to look at for your cosmetics or what structures can be created for cosmetics, right? Then, or have cosmetics put on them that are in your inventory. Then, if you look on the right side here, remember, this used to be just one tab, all your cosmetics. Now, it's item cosmetics. This is where your cosmetics will live when you make them to include a drop-down menu to help you build your, help you organize a little better. Now, right now, I have it just on structures. So, if I want to, say, look at the dyes I have, so it'll just show my dies. If I want to look at just the shirts, if I want to look at just the player costumes, if I want to look at just the custom creature, the creature costumes, or if I want to do structures or all cosmetics. So we're going to leave it on structures. Now, I'm sure you're asking by now, okay, Mikey, get to the point. How do I make my cosmetics? I mean, geez, Mikey, you're talking for too long. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to come up here and you're going to go to create cosmetics. When you go into create cosmetics, it has your unlocked cosmetics here. So your that'd be the Bob's Tall Tail cosmetics and skins that you've unlocked from events and so on. So we're gonna what we're gonna do here, we're gonna reduce this size. We're gonna come down here and here's all your custom cosmetics. If you've noticed, they've changed greatly. Okay. They're now in folders. There's good and bad with this. One thing you may notice right off the bat, there are no names at all. It's just a series of numbers. So if you're like me and you have a lot, and I mean a lot of similar cosmetics in your cosmetics tab, it can get difficult sometimes to identify which ones are which. Now, certain creators like Klinger Martin, I know what his looks, I know his style. So that I know that's his, that's his, that's his. I know that that's clingers. I know that that's clingers because of his style. And that's clingers because of his style. But other ones, I'm not 100% sure of which ones they are. Uh, unlike people like, unless it's someone like, say, Aaron Longstaff, who has the AL on his, or Sandy underscore zero, who has the SD on all, all of his. It's kind of weird. But the good thing about it is now you just go in here. And there you go. You have your, you have your cosmetics that are in that pack. This is the rustic pack right here, or the shanty pack rather. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to bring that down to here. It shows up here. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to bring this down to here. And it, they're both there. And if I go to autumn cosmet, item cosmetics, they're both here as well. Now the question is, if I go here and they're here. Can I get these to drop back down in my hot bar? They do. So there, they're still there, and there's multiple locations you get them. But if you noticed, I can now make multiple, multiple cosmetics at once instead of having to constantly come back over here to recreate them. Now, I have noticed that's not the only one that does that. So if I come over here and I take Sandy underscore double zero, we throw this here. You notice how it doesn't show up here. It shows up here, but it doesn't show up over here like the other ones do. 
It also, it does drop into my hot bar, though. I don't know why it does that. I just know it does. So I'm going to throw that back up here. Actually, I'm going to see if I can throw it in here, and it automatically kicks it over here. But again, all the other cosmetics that I've made are still there. And then you can, of course, remove your cosmetics. While I think it's going to take time for this interface to work, I honestly feel that it's an improvement. There's just some tweaks that need to be made. And I'll get up with some of my modding friends to find out if it is with the regards to the names, if we have to, if it's on their end that they have to update their stuff to be able to have their names in it. And if you notice, some of the skin, some of the mods aren't here at all. So I'm going to go to all cosmetics here. Okay. And if you notice, it doesn't change anything here. So if I go to armor, you have these are these ones here. If I go to uh, these armors here, the shields aren't working because those are for weapons. So if I come over here and I go all cosmetics, I should be able to make them, right? No, they're still not there. I'm still working on figuring that out. As soon as I'm able to figure that out, I will let you know. Was it able to, was I able to make it? We're going to come down here and we're going to go with armor. No, it's not there. We're going to go with structures. It's not there either. So I don't know. We'll figure it out, guys. As soon as I figure it all out and I have more updates on you, I will put another short video out for you. If you haven't subscribed and you liked this content, that can help you keep up to date with what's going on with our game that we love, please hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you next time.